Week four, decision making and action. Student final projects may include a zine, catalog or magazine, large scale sculpture or public art project, and portrait. So what is a zine? Zine is a small circulation, self-published work of original or appropriated text and images, usually reproduced via photocopier. Zines are often created by physically cutting and gluing text and images together onto a master flat for photocopying. But it is also common to produce the master by typing and formatting pages on a computer. The publication is usually folded and stapled. This is another example of a zine creation. Magazines are collections of information of interest to a particular group of readers, often supported by advertisements. Here is another example of student magazine projects. Sculpture is an artistic form in which hard or plastic materials are worked into three-dimensional art objects. In addition to traditional materials like clay, wood, or metal to carve sculptures, found materials like newspapers, cardboard, and plastic may also be used to create sculpture artwork. Newspaper sculptures, also known as paper mache, is an easy way to make hard material that can be used to cover various surfaces. It is often used in arts and crafts to make various sculptures, fruit bowls, puppets, dolls, and much more. The surface is easy to paint, allowing you to add patterns, bright colors, and interesting designs to your finished artwork. Pack and tape sculptures are human mold sculptures made out of plastic wrap and packing tape. They are fun, easy to make, and can take on any pose you can think of. An altered book is an art object that has been created from an existing printed book. The book is altered through whatever means and media the artist chooses. This generally means using the book's pages as a canvas on which to apply paint, collage, or rubber stamping. In this example, it also means cutting into the book with a tool called an X-Acto knife to create a more sculptural piece. Students can look at different examples of altered books begin brainstorming ideas and think about how to incorporate found objects within their sculptures. They may want to look at artists such as Susan Cerrone, Brian Detmer, and Lisa Koken. Students should sketch out a few possible ideas before beginning. A portrait is a painting, photograph, sculpture, or other artistic representation of a person in which the face and its expression is predominant. The intent is to display the likeness, personality, and even the mood of the person. So let's review. As a final project, consider your process, experimentation, and choice of materials from the previous weeks, and then create a work where techniques and or material decisions enhance the ideas explored in the artwork. Thanks for watching.